Hey guys, it's Christina. How's it going? So in some of my past videos, I talked about budgeting and planning on my purchases and trying to be better with my money. Um, and I've definitely come a long way from where I used to be. And so I wanted to just walk you guys through like how I do things with my monthly food plan. So how I plan out the food I'm getting um, and like budget it out and buying it and then also like what I do throughout the month as far as like food goes. So I just wanted to run you guys through my monthly food plan and just show you how I do things. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by saying I've tried so many different things. I've tried planning out every single meal, including like snacks and stuff, which was a lot of work. I've also tried just like winging it and getting whatever I was in the mood for or wanted for that month. Uh, there's a lot of things I've tried. And what I've been doing lately, I've really, really liked. And I think I'm gonna end up doing it for a while, so. So what I have decided to do is just sit down at some point, like the month before, and plan out all my meals, not my meals, my dinners for the next month. Um, my boyfriend had this idea of just planning dinners, which I think has actually been really great because I would plan out like maybe a few meals for the week and then the rest I'm like, oh, I could just kind of round up whatever's around the house. When we've actually planned out like a really good meal for every night, cause he and I tend to cook, cook together and stuff. Um, yeah, it has helped us to not eat out as much. We used to go eat out because I would think, oh, there's nothing in my house or in his house or whatever. And so we just end up going out. So now like we know there's a really great meal we have planned for that night. And so we end up not going out as much. It's really nice. We did plan out to go out two times a week. So um, we do go out, but just not as much. So that's been really nice. And I found this really great checklist. It was actually on Google Sheets. And it was actually this pre-made to-do list. And what I did at the top is I just changed it to like whatever month it's for. And like I said, I'll just do this like the month before and I'll just pick a day or a night and do it really quick. Well, it's not really quick. It takes a little bit of time, but I thought if I just do this once a month, it's not gonna like consume my whole schedule. It's just, I love doing it this way. I've loved it already. But anyway, so I'll get this, this uh, to-do list. I'll put the month at the top and then what I decided to do is just count on the calendar how many dinners I need to come up with and um, except for two nights. And I just kind of list them all there first. And then what I did is I started brainstorming some recipes or some things that we wanted to cook. So I try to think of healthy recipes. I try to think of things that maybe I was craving that I really want to have. I've also, I also decided to think of some meals that are cheaper, um, especially because I didn't want the groceries to be too expensive. So it's like a combination of all those things. I put like a whole list together and this is just how my list looks, just to give you an idea. This was for August and I'm part way through it and I have been loving this. And the great thing about this to-do list is you can just click the little box and it'll check it off once you've made it. And so, yeah, it's been really cool. And what I plan to do is just make one now for every month. I'll just like duplicate it. And then of course, like change some of the recipes in it. So I'm not eating like the same thing every single night. Um, but yeah, it's it's been so awesome. And we really haven't been eating out as much as we tend to. Okay, so once I have my whole list made for the month, I can then go into whatever grocery store app it is I'm going to be shopping. Um, guys, I love doing pickup. It has been so great. It's really like changed my life. <laughs> it's been awesome. Like, um, before it was hard to find time to go grocery shopping, um, or it was hard to calculate prices. Um, like I'd be grocery shopping and I would think, okay, this is $1. This is $3, like give or take tax. Okay. I'm up to $4 now. And like, over time I would lose track and it was just, it was such a pain. So um, this has been just really nice, especially if you're on a budget because it'll calculate how much you like your total is as you're putting things in. And so you can really like watch it closely. 
Um, so that's really awesome. And of course, when you're on the app, you can see like what's on sale also. Um, that's also one more thing I'll do when I make my monthly list of foods too, is I'll see what's on sale. I forgot to say that. So uh, usually I'll get my cart like all loaded in before payday. And then once it's payday, I'll just like submit the order and pick it up pretty close to around payday. Um, I have actually just been getting groceries once a month, which sounds probably so crazy. Um, but for being on like a tighter budget and like time wise, I don't know. I've just learned to do it monthly. Um, every once in a while I'll go pick something up, but this works for me now. I'm sure eventually I'll do like every two weeks or every week, but this has worked for me and I'll tell you how it's worked for me also. Okay. So the reason why this has really worked for me is when I'm planning out my meals, my first like week or two of meals, those are going to be items that are more perishable that I need to use up quicker, like fresh vegetables, um, maybe like milk or things that will just like go bad quicker. I'll try to do that in like my first week or two. And then after that, I try to plan meals where I'm using things from the freezer or canned items. Um, one thing, well, one reason why this also works is because when I first get my groceries, I, I will um, put some things in the freezer. Like I'll put some of my meats in the freezer, I'll chop some items up and put it in the freezer. So that way I can just get it out when it's time to cook and then just put it in my recipe. Um, that's like part of the planning process. So you might be thinking as I like explain this stuff, like what do I do for lunches and for breakfast? Um, one thing I decided I would do for lunches is eat some of those leftovers from those dinners I'm making. Um, I also decided just to buy some items that are on sale that would be really good for lunch or breakfast. And that way I have things uh, for those meals too. And I like to buy things that really last and are cheaper like like I said before, maybe oatmeal or pasta or um, canned goods, like things that are pretty easy to make and cheaper. So. so that's kind of the process of how I plan things out, how I buy it and what I do throughout the month. And like I said, it's been awesome. And I don't have to think like, okay, what am I doing for dinner? Or, oh, I need to go, go, go to the grocery store or, um, I'm running low on money. Like what am I gonna do for the rest of the month? It's like all planned out, I have it, and I don't have to worry about it until the next month. So um, plus like, you know, the month that I'm eating those meals, I can then plan for the next month. And like I said, I'll just sit down maybe for an evening or like an evening or two and just kind of get it all planned out. And it's just, I've liked it. It just makes things pretty easy. Also, when I'm putting that grocery list together, I'll think about anything I need around the house. Like maybe I'm out of some kind of a cleaner or um, I'm out of detergent or something like that. I'll also put those things into the order and I th I'll think about what I need for that month. I'll also like, of course, do some Amazon orders and stuff like that too. But um, it's like I said, it's really nice to get all those things in so I can just be set for the month. And of course, every once in a while, I might need to run to the store to grab something else I need, but this tends to really tide me over for, you know, usually the whole month or most of the month. All right, so that's how I have been doing things as far as like a monthly food plan. And I've really been liking it. And I've done, like I said, I've done most of these things for a while. Some things are newer, like just planning out the, the dinners, but already I've really been liking it. I've been doing it for a few weeks now. So anyway, hopefully this gives you guys a few ideas you can do if you're looking for some ways to be a little bit better with your budget, especially with food, if that's something you spend a lot of money on. Or maybe you're looking for ways not to eat out as much, which was something I really need to work on, so. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.